Alright guys, this is where we left it last time. Um, you have a lens floating somewhere down here in front of your lens box, which should be solid. Um, what we're going to do here is to create a hole. Uh, we're going to use a ball for that. Um, that's in that menu there. Or you can also find it from your objects menu um, under the modeling tools and ball there. Um, so create one of those. Um, create this little thing here. Um, this has got some various options with it. A subtract B and A union B and A intersect B. Um, basically what these are used for is cutting away or joining two sort of basic shapes together. Um, for this we want to tick higher quality if that's not ticked. We also want to tick create signal object and hide new edges. Um, we're also going to want to create a something to make the hole with. So we'll create a cylinder for that. So objects primitive cylinder. Um, we want it on the z-axis. Drag it out so you can see what I'm doing. And we want a radius of 92, which is slightly bigger than our eye here. Um, you see it's the same hole I've used and pretty much in the same position. Um, so what we want to do, uh, we're using check our ball A subtract B, so you want to drag in your B object first, which is the cylinder. And the object we want to subtract from is the dome. So drag that in seconds, and you can see that creates. If I render that, a hole through there. Um, all we need to do now is grab our lens and we need to rotate on that onto the right axis, which is around 90 degrees that way. And all you have to do is move that up, and we're going to plug up the hole we've made with this lens. Uh, it can be a bit tricky to get sort of right rotational points, so it may take you a couple of minutes. Um, if you bring it right forward to about there, you can see there's still got a bit of an angle here. Um, basically, you just have to use your rotate tool and fudge it about till you get it in roughly. Um, just come out a little more. Swing your view around, you can see where you're going. And then once you've got it roughly centered and you're happy with it. Uh, just the way out a bit too far for my liking. Um, just sort of slightly inset. And that'll be fine. Um, you can see we do have a little gap around it, through under there. Um, we made a selection set on our lens here, on that cylinder there called eye sides. Um, if you restore that selection and go into polygon mode, you've got those polygons selected, all you have to do is right click and extrude and just drag them out a little. So it plugs up the hole and give it a render. And you can see there we have an eye a shape in place. You can mess around with it and get that all exact and looking how you want it. Um, so that was none too difficult. Um, yeah. Um, as you can see the next parts we'll be creating is these shapes here. Um, I've got them all on a separate tutorial at the moment so no point messing around with that. I'll actually revert this back to its save point now that I've shown you how to get that there. And so there we have our basic R2 unit shaped and ready to go. In a CEDX tutorial, we'll put in these bits here. Um, so I hope you stick around for that. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.